staggering number of people have been victims of cell phone theft in the city of Rochester. More than 1,600 people had their phones stolen in the city over the last year. About a quarter of them had their phones taken by force, and nearly 200 robberies were done at gunpoint. So-called kill switches were supposed to cut down on cell phone thefts. Rachel Barnhart asks if that's working in a story you'll see only on 8. A kill switch refers to technology that renders a phone useless if it gets stolen. No one would be able to turn it back on. But we found even phones with kill switches have value. Jeremy Smith was waiting at the bus stop last fall when a teenager swiped his cell phone. I just was dumbfounded that somebody would grab it while it was, it was in my hand, looking at it, listening to music, and somebody grabbed it and took off. Where might stolen phones end up? News 8 conducted an experiment. Our producer visited independent cell phone stores carrying his own password-protected iPhone 4S. He pretended he got the phone from a friend and wanted it turned on in his name. You guys open? I got this phone from my friend and it's locked. Most of the stores said they would be able to get through the phone's password by doing a factory reset and wiping it clean of data. So that resets it? It'll reset it, but, it, I mean, I can do it. It's going to cost you 10 bucks, and it's going to take about an hour. It's $25 to reset it. Oh, yeah. Wiping the iPhone clean of data is apparently easy, but none of the stores said they could activate the phone if it's linked to an Apple iTunes account. That's because Apple has activation lock software, also known as a kill switch. I wiped out a whole bunch, man, because I buy it, because kids bring them in, and I'd be like, oh, is it yours? They'd be like, yeah, so it's only got that passcode. Once I do it, I can't use the phone, because it'll start up, and it needs that password for iTunes. There's two potential passwords on it. The first one, I'm not going to get passed. If there's a second one, I'm not going to be able to get past that. That's called the iCloud account. It'll cost you $10 to find out. But even though they couldn't activate our phone, some cell phone dealers offered to buy it instead. However, if you ever come across any phones, New Year's are broken, I buy them. Oh, so you buy these? Yeah, I buy those. How much would this be? Let me see it. Yeah, you're looking at like 30 bucks. Most I give up is like 20, 25 dollars. Just the motherboard is no good, man. I mean, I can use it for parts. Maybe around depending on the condition. Why would stores want to buy our phone if it has a kill switch? It's possible it could be used for parts. iPhone screens are especially valuable to stores that offer replacements to customers. But James Baldinger, an attorney for Sprint and other cell phone companies, has another theory. We talked to him via Skype. They may actually have a need for, for parts, but I doubt that that's where that phone would have ended up if you sold it to those folks. Baldinger says cell phone trafficking is rampant and phones are very valuable overseas. You go on the internet in about 10 seconds with a couple of searches you can find all sorts of services uh, that for a fee will unlock the phone regardless of whether the kill switch has been activated. So I think the way to make, to extract the most money out of those phones is to resell them. The stores we visited did nothing illegal. We did not sell our phone to any of the stores or have them alter the software. That leaves a big question. Would they have checked first to see if our phone was stolen? We returned to the stores to ask. One store said it does not check any stolen phone databases. That store keeps a customer ID on file. The other store said they would have run our phone through databases. This store owner was the only one willing to go on camera and told us she won't buy any used phones. A lot of people try to get rid of is their stolen phone, but um, they don't try to turn them on. That's mostly they try to yeah, sell them. I just sell them, and um, that's. But we don't buy them, so that you know eliminate us from a lot of getting any stolen phones in here. Attorney General Eric Schneiderman has pushed for cell phone kill switches and says there's been a 17 percent drop in iPhone thefts in New York City since Apple implemented the activation lock. His office had this to say about our experiment. While there is unlikely a perfect solution that will halt all thefts, it's an enormous accomplishment if stolen iPhones are selling for as little as $25. RIT computer security professor Tom O agrees kill switches are a good thing, but... Every time a security expert build a wall, and they figure out to find a way to go through the wall, go come over the wall, go around the wall, 
And this is just a matter of time. Rochester police say there's been no noticeable difference in the rate of iPhone thefts or thefts of any other brand. The city is considering regulations that cell phone dealers. They currently do not need a secondhand dealer's license to buy and sell used phones.